today is December the 25th, 2017, Christmas Day. I've got to make a, a video of this very quickly because I've got to take it to my grandson. But I wanted to show you a finished product. It works marvelously well. I'm very pleased with it. Uh, you run a 12AU7 and a 1625 in the left channel, the right channel. That's where they're laid out. I was going to put a potentiometer in right here to uh, control the uh, level of negative feedback but it just wasn't practical. Um, the uh, negative feedback resistor is about 1500 ohms so all of that was determined experimentally. So I put RCA jacks over here so to plug it into a phone or anything like that you gotta have this little adapter right here this three and a half millimeter I believe it is and then I put a quarter inch one over here. Now I want to show you something um, I need the box, yeah, right here. I've got to put the um, headphones back in the box. And I had to I had to learn to take a slightly different approach on this. Let me show you here on the box. The specs on it. It's kind of interesting. I hope this will focus on it with I get the glare out of it. There we go. Look right here. Maximum SPL, sound pressure level, maximum sound pressure level at one kilohertz, one volt RMS, 120 dB. So we're not trying to generate um, high power here. We just need a volt, one volt RMS. And if you really want to know the truth, by the time it, I've got it adjusted so it takes about a volt to drive it to get a volt output. I know that sounds silly. Uh, so I guess in that sense it's not necessary but I think it has some uh, neat qualities I think it's neat and uh, it, maybe it'll uh, you know give you a sound a tube sound that you like oh yeah here's something that, that I, I thought was what I did unique about it is I put a plastic cover on the bottom I have a grandson that's 16 and one that's 6 and I didn't want the little inquisitive one to get into it but I want him to be able to see it personally. I think that's the beautiful part of it right here underneath the chassis Here's uh, the output transformers. I cleaned the tops of them off uh, You know left channel right channel uh, Keep all my power supply components at one end and grounded at one point with the center tap of the uh, transformer grounds I've been asked those kinds of questions a number of times and to me that's the way to to uh, reduce the hum. I, it has no hum. It's zero hum. I can't hear anything. It's just quiet if it's not even plugged in. So I'm very pleased with that. Uh, as far as grounding other components, see I ground the inputs right here. The inputs are just grounded right on, right on the, right to the metal. Yeah, I know you're getting a terrible glare there. Um, <clears throat> and I ground the uh, cathodes and stuff right at the tube socket. I ground the cathode of the output tubes right at the tube socket to a little ground lug. Same thing over here. So you don't have to run a star or a bus ground. I mean, don't think that's going to hurt anything, but it isn't necessary. As long as you keep your power supply over in the corner, uh, keep it away from the audio circuits and, and ground everything at one point. And that includes all of your the filter capacitors. These are the decoupling capacitors. Anyway, I've got to show you right quick the kind of voltage that it uh, produces and then uh, then I got to run. Okay, I'm, don't, I'm not going to be able to uh, show you scans of it and everything because I got to get this done pretty quick. There is uh, 1.3 volts uh, produced across the load resistors. I've got two 22, I got a 22 ohm resistor across each channel, so two 22 ohm resistors that are that are connected just right here, right behind it. And they want to put the 70 ohm load on it from the headphones, and these headphones are 70 ohms. Uh, I end up getting 16 ohms, which gets reflected back about 6.6 .6 to 7k uh, to the as a load for the uh, tube. But anyway, there's 30 hertz right there at 1.3 volts. And all I need is one for 120 dB. So it's actually pretty darn good. THD is actually 2%. And uh, there is the 30 hertz. There's the 1.32 volts. There, there it is again on a different meter. And there's its frequency again. And then uh, from there I'll go to uh, 300. Uh, still 1.3 volts. THD drops way down. 
it does have a little bit of instability in it as you can see I think I got a little bit too much uh, NFB in it as you can see it's it's very slowly uh, oscillating there I've actually seen that uh, in a Fisher amplifier I have it's called a Fisher 70A the model Fisher 70A does that so I'm gonna let it be for now let's go to 3 kilohertz we still got our 1.3 volts And there's our, uh, that's why our uh, THD is jumping around. It doesn't know what to do with that, that wavering in there and, the, and that little blip at the bottom. But I don't have time to work on it right now. Then we'll go to 30 kilohertz. What the heck? Oops, wrong button. We'll skip the 20 kilohertz range. It actually looks really good up there, doesn't it? We still got our 1.3, 1.4. Got a little bit of rise up there, actually. And it's THD up there is... Uh, still because of that uh, because of that slow oscillation but anyway I, I've got to give it to him right now yeah you can see it right there that very very slow oscillation I think my uh, my negative feedback resistor is a little bit too small but anyway it sounds great see there's the 30 kilohertz it sounds great uh, here's that frequency response again this is uh, you can see that it's uh, flat from zero out this one stops at 20 kilohertz out there and you generally saw what the THD was. These little tubes are actually transmitting tubes from uh, World War II era. And they're not made for audio. They are generally made to run Class C for an RF amplifier. But there it is. Yeah, for what it's worth, it's cute. And it sounds great. I wish you could hear it, but that's not going to work. I can't hold the microphone up to these headphones. I think they'd sound pretty tinny. But uh, I'm, uh, I'm pleased with it overly impressed maybe not but whatever there's the front I had to put my name on it of course and then the back I uh, use this kind of power plug a two amp fuse and of course I always put my my made in USA sign on it actually most of the components probably are probably not every one of them though so there it is I think this is the only uh, home brew homemade uh, uh, vacuum tube uh, headphone amplifier on uh, on YouTube at the moment. So, Merry Christmas to all. Be safe. Thanks for watching. See you again at a later date.